Most of the drainage of the thoracic body wall reaches the superior vena cava via the azygous vein. A notable exception is the left superior intercostal vein, which normally drains into the. In other words, where is the drainage of the left superior intercostal vein? The left superior intercostal vein is the vein that drains the second and third, sometimes the fourth, left posterior intercostal spaces. Most of the other posterior intercostal spaces, whether on the right or the left side, they drain into the azygous system of veins. The azygous, hemiazygous, and accessory hemiazygous, and this azygous system of veins, ultimately, it opens into the superior vena cava, the posterior part of the superior vena cava, after the azygous vein arches over the root of the right lung. Here in this diagram, this is the left superior intercostal vein. It crosses over the arch of the aorta, over the left side of the arch of the aorta. As you can see here, that the vagus nerve that crosses the arch of the aorta will be deep to the vein, while the phrenic nerve, which also crosses the arch of the aorta, will be superficial. The right superior intercostal vein drains into the azygous arch. But the left superior intercostal vein, as you can see here, it drains into the left brachiocephalic vein. So if we look now at the options, superior vena cava is not correct because the superior vena cava receives, as I said, the azygous arch. Left bronchial vein, it does not drain into the left bronchial vein. Left pulmonary vein, no. Left pulmonary vein carries oxygenated blood from the lung. Left subclavian vein, it does not drain into the left subclavian vein, but it drains into the left brachiocephalic vein, which is formed by the union of the left subclavian and the left internal jugular vein.